Here we are, back in the closet of IT knowledge. Welcome, welcome, one and all. So, if you're looking to advance your career quickly, there's a few things you gotta do. First, you have to assess how much experience you have. What skills do you have? How many years have you been in the industry? I mean, if it's very few years, then you're probably not getting a remote job. Things are tough right now to find work. So, just write that off. You could do it. You might do it, and I hope you do. But if you can't, Follow these steps, okay? You need to be looking at job boards about once a month for the next three months. Why are you doing this? You're looking for skills in your area that are in demand. You're looking to find out who's hiring what. What are they looking for? What do you need to be good at in order to get hired? That's what you gotta do, okay? Once you've done that, go use those skills. I don't care what you have to do. Go start an Amazon Web Services account. For the first year, it's the, called the, uh, the free tier, right? So most things are gonna charge you pennies on the dollar, if anything at all, okay? And there, in, in your new cloud environment, you can build whatever it is that people are hiring for. There's a tool there you can use to build it. If you don't know exactly how to do it, Google it. I, I'm telling you right now, you're going to look up documentation, you're going to look up Stack Overflow questions, you're going to look up tutorials to figure out how to do the thing that was in the job postings, okay? So you found the thing that's in demand, you're in a place where you can build it, and you're practicing these things regularly, okay? I'm, I'm talking every day. If you can do 20 minutes a day, perfect. If you can do three hours a day, better. Try not to take too many days off, okay? If you, you do it twice a week, there's three days in between each time. You'll, you'll do okay, but you can get lost. You can forget where you were. You have to play catch up a lot of the times. It's much more helpful to do 20 minutes a day and then to do like two six-hour sessions in the week, I would say. Um, that's what I found helpful for me. So find out what people are hiring for because remote work might not be in, in your future, in the very near future, right? Uh, and once you know exactly what people are hiring for, go practice those things. You can read documentation and stories and do tutorials all you want, but that's not going to help you build the skills when it comes to a real-world situation. You're going to actually get to a point where you're going to be faced with a problem or you're going to want to build something and realize you don't know where to start because you're not following along with the tutorial or reading about the technology. Right? you you got to get in there and get your hands dirty. you got to go build a something. And it can be everything from the super mundane to super complex. Like, oh, I've always wished there was this thing, whatever it is. Maybe you want your own cloud storage. You know, you don't want to use G Drive or OneDrive or whatever thing that you use for free or as a paid subscription to something you already use. Great. That's great. Maybe you wanted to make your own. Well, you have your Amazon Web Services right there. Maybe you could figure out how to use an S3 bucket and, and learn how to upload things from your phone, learn how to upload things from your computer. How could you package that into a script that is run on people's computer or maybe uh, whatever version of an EXE, <laughs> like, a, like an executable file, a program that would open up and be like, hey, what program or what file do you want to upload? Like, do you see how, how simple and ridiculous it can be? I, not that cloud storage is ridiculous, but like I just thought of that in 20 seconds. And it's just something that would teach me cloud architecture, uh, networking to whatever degree, authentication, you know, using different tokens and whatnot to make sure that who's uploading is actually allowed to or to draw stuff down from that uh, S3 bucket in that case. You just gained a bunch of skills in one little thing, building something that you always wanted. Just for example. Okay, and it could be anything. I don't care if it's a program that produces cat pictures, which is actually pretty cool. You should do that. Uh, you just, you got to go out and practice it because then, oh, you know, one to three months later, when you've practiced, you feel a little more comfortable doing those skills, go back to the job board, see what people are hiring for, do the same thing you did three months ago. What you're going to see is that the job postings are less intimidating. So... You're going to be reading something and they'll say like, we need someone with one year of experience working with Active Directory. Well, hey, so you create an EC2 instance that's running Windows Server 2016 and you're clicking around, you're making security groups, applying it to different users, all that jazz. You're familiar with Active Directory now. So when you look at that job posting, it's like one year of Active Directory experience. Great. 
you're comfortable in that environment. One year of experience just means, are you comfortable with it? Can you do it? This is the, the range of stuff that you can do in your own cloud platform. And lucky for you, hey, there's a free tier. Okay, use whatever cloud provider you want. I'm sure there's free tiers in GCP and Azure. Sure, sure, I just haven't used them yet, so that's why I gravitate towards AWS. You can use whatever you want. You can build it on your own computer. You don't necessarily need the cloud, okay? Go download a, um, a hypervisor of sorts, or, or um, and um, like VMware, you know, and, and run your own instance of uh, Windows Server on there. Like, whatever it is, just practice the skill because then those job postings when you go back in three months are less intimidating and you can start filtering them for things like, oh, I think I could do that. I think I could actually get into that because now you're at about three months of practice. You've developed skill X, Y, Z. Awesome. You should actually send your resume out. First update it. Make sure it looks good. Have someone look at it. Figure out like what's a good template that'll get you past the, the screeners and actually get it in the, the hands of a human and get you interviews actually send your resume out okay because you're gonna start doing interview practice and it's great to do in a, a third-party setting in a low stress environment maybe with a friend maybe with a hired service the best experience you're gonna get interviewing is actually interviewing it's it's make or break time basically <laughs> and it's high stress they're gonna ask you something like what is your name and your brain will lock up and you're like, I'm really glad I'm practicing interviewing because clearly I have no idea what I'm doing uh, and, and sometimes that'll land you a job, not knowing your name. No, sometimes that will land you a job because you go in, you show that you're at least a competent human being, even if you're not 100% competent with the skills that they're interviewing for. And they think they can work with you. Boom. You made it. You just advanced your career. Just, just a little bit. Like awesome. Okay. <laughs> Repeat the process. If you like the job, stay there. I'm not saying you know, do that every six months at a job. I'm saying like this is the tried and true way to do it. Find what people are hiring for. Learn that thing. Get the job. Done. And good luck along the way. Whatever it is, have some fun with it. Okay? Because learning's hard. Learning's hard. And it's uncomfortable. And it, whenever I'm learning a new tool, I'm frustrated. I'm... I'm not having a good time. I'm not looking forward to the process because I don't know exactly like how do you use it? What do you do? What are all the steps involved? That seems complicated. You're going to run into little issues and bugs along the way. You're going to sit down to work for three hours and you're going to be stuck just like setting up the tool rather than actually doing work to work on it. Like, learning can be very hard. So you take a deep breath and you push through that. And eventually, you know, it gets easier. Think of a toddler tying their shoes, man. The first time they do it, they're not happy. It's not a good time. But, you know, 500 attempts later, and suddenly you're you in your 30s, and tying your shoes is not an issue at all. So it it's like that across the board. Push through the difficult part and just keep going. Hey, uh, one thing I wanted to add. I was over in editing and come back over here. I forgot to mention one thing. Don't do the job board search stuff every day. That is a waste of your time, okay? You're gonna be in a, a place of employment, right? You're gonna have a job and you're gonna look at a job board and think, oh, I'm, I'm gonna upgrade now. It's time to, time to upgrade my skills. Well, you've, you've already found the skills that are in demand and you're working on building those skills out now. You're working on improving yourself. If you keep going back to the job boards, you might feel like you're being productive. You might feel it's like month two of you practicing. And you're like, oh yeah, I'll go check again. And, and then you end up doing that every day. You're just wasting time. You should be building the thing. You should be practicing the skill. It doesn't have to be a full three months. Just feel really confident with the skill before you go back to the job board and start applying or, or see if you're ready. Because I, I've fallen into that trap where <laughs> you regularly checking these things like what are people hiring what should i focus on what is it i should be building no 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 stop stop you already got to the place where you decided to build something even if it's the cat picture generator we talked about earlier just build that thing just build that thing finish it it could be the lowest quality thing ever you're just going to learn those skills and then go back to the job board don't waste your time it'll feel productive and it's not good luck that's what's worked for me. I hope it works for you. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. And God bless.